that reminds me, Tom. I've got a, a law hammer or your hammer. Ooh. Forgotten. Hit me. You guys ready for this? No reading chat. Because uh, they might know chat. which one's real. Okay. So, um, there's this um, Imperial Fist Sergeant. Okay. And he gets... He's a space marine. But... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, uh, fake. Definitely not. <laughs> mm -mm. Um, it w and because of some kind of genetic like abnormality, when he got his gene seed, he got all of his organs, but he... Um, he didn't get any taller. So all the other space marines are like seven foot whatever, but he's like five foot ten. Right. And he's strong and he's, you know, he's got all the space marine things, but he's small. Okay. Um, and some humans are, some humans are bigger than him. And he's very, very, uh, what's the word? It's a delicate subject for him. He's very self-conscious about it. Okay. He goes to the apothecaries and he's like, I want to be a big boy like all the other big boys. And they just can't, they can't do it. They're like, it's just. Science has only advanced so far. <laughs> oh, yeah. Something about your, your DNA, I guess. Just no, no big boy for it's you. A little, a little fella. So he decides if he can't be as tall as all of his brothers, he will be wider. <laughs> so he goes to the gym. Every, in between every campaign, he hits the gym and he works out real good. And he's like, this barrel, uh, barrel of a man. Okay. Um, and he he gets so wide, his armor has to be like specially adjusted. And he gets to the point where his commanding officer tells him to fucking stop it. It's causing a logistical nightmare. The tech marines have got better shit to do than constantly Surely adjust your rules. They are not allowed to get too wide. Well, I guess yeah, because they can't fit vaguely within a, a pattern. Yeah. Okay. He's almost as wide as he is tall. What's he called? Um, Brother Sergeant Voss. Okay, I, I wasn't really believing this until the name. Because if you made this up, mm -hmm. you would have called him Brother Sergeant Squatters <laughs> or <laughs> Brother Sergeant... Uh, Fucking like shortkins or something. <laughs> like you, there would have N been a Napoleus. <laughs> Napoleus. Like there would have been a pun. <sighs> I was like, no, that sounds okay. So that's it. Okay, Space Marine Jim Rat who has to get has to make up for his shortness for by with wideness. Okay, is he in the Horus Heresy? Yeah. Um, and or the other tale of Warhammer law that may or may not be true. So didn't explain the rules. Um, which one's real, which one's made up, is that there's this space wolf. And you know the space wolves, obviously they fuck. They do fuck, everyone knows that. One of the other things about the space wolves is they have like enhanced senses. They can hear good and smell good and taste good and see good. Sure. Like a, like a wolf does. Okay, like a wolf do, yeah. They, so, have, they have dog powers. <laughs> yes, space dog powers. They have powers of man and of wolf. They're space wolves, yep. So there's this... Um, this like pack leader of a recon group. Mm -hmm. He's got even gooder senses than even a regular space wolf. Uh oh. And um, he's on his battle barge and he walks past another brother space wolf. Um, and he's like, hang on, some, something ain't right. <laughs> I know where this is going. <laughs> I know where this is going. Well, has he shit his pants? <laughs> has that guy shit his pants then? He walks past and he can smell the shit <laughs> through their like hermetically sealed suits. His senses are that good and he can smell his shit. Really? <laughs> he can smell. And he's like, something's not right here. And he's like, hey, oh, brother. Um, and he's like, oh, brother, whatever a cuss. Bring it in, in the Space Wolf style. And they have a big, big hug. And while they're hugging, he's sniffing. And he's like, as soon as they unembrace, he gets his squad to arrest this this brother space wolf on the spot, and everyone's like, "What? What? What the hell?" But he's like a veteran pack leader, so they just they do what he says. Okay. And they stick this guy in the brig, and upon further inf inspection, it turns out he was an Alpha Legion Ooh. spy who was about to like sabotage the ship, because moments later 
they, the ship gets ambushed by an Alpha Legion fleet. And they were exp it was meant to be coordinated to like knock out primary systems. Right, okay. But the Space Wolves are now on high alert because they found a saboteur and they escape the ambush because of that. And he saves the day. And they ask him, like, how did you know? And he's like, well, when we, when we embraced, I smelled. And I could smell all of his... Oh, like, I could smell he's a fucking virgin. <laughs> and uh, so he's clearly not a space Clearly wolf. not a space wolf. That guy doesn't fuck. I smell <laughs> yeah. the virginity all over him. <laughs> yeah. uh, it smells like Lynx Africa. <laughs> okay. I right. wish. <laughs> right. That makes sense. Yeah. Okay, so he can smell that he's a virgin. And um, he could smell his bio-recyc unit. And he was like, that was no wolf of Fenris. He didn't smell right. And so they don't say it exactly, but he smelled his butt like a dog would. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and his butt smelled wrong. So he he not friend, he foe. Look, man. You had me that entire <laughs> until the end. I feel like that I feel like you read something like that. That they did smell a guy and find out he was an Alpha Legion. Making it the butt. Oh, and I added the butt in. Yeah, yeah. I feel like you because added. you know, but they specifically say it was like his his bio recyc unit things. Yeah, his butt. <laughs> yeah, which is like the tubes. Yeah, the butt. The tubes that go in the butt uh, and the peepers and all the sweat as well. I guess. Okay, sure. Everything goes in the tank. I. If it wasn't for the butt, I would definitely believe that. I'm gonna go with the space marine. Because I mm -hmm. feel like the second one is more true, but you, the boring name for the first one yeah. makes me think you wouldn't have made that up, and the butt makes me think you did make that up. <laughs> right. But I think the rest of the both of those stories, if you, if the space wolf was called Brother Captain Voss and he smelt the guy, I'd be like, hundred percent, that's the true story. And if the fucking short guy he fucking had a stinky butt as well. <laughs> then I'd be like, that one's definitely not true. Uh, oh, is my, Chadicus. Is my, yeah, fucking Chadicus. Uh, then I would 100% believe it. Or no, then I think you had made it up. Oh, let's see what chat thinks. I think short guy. Yeah. It is funny that he smells the virgin. By the way, Voss is a real one. He's from Death Watch and 40k. Oh, I should have also said, I thought, uh, like, I don't want to mention it out loud, but the idea of, because you've been reading Horus Heresy stuff at the moment, mm -hmm. and are there a lot of space wolves in the Siege of Terror? Um, Handful. But then I was like, well, I know there's a lot of fucking Imperial Fists, but are you, like, throwing me off with Ooh. metagaming? But then, is that the intention? And... So which is true? Is it Voss? So you're saying I think the Imperial Fist is true yeah. and the Space Wolf is made up? Yes. That's right! <laughs> well done! Huzzah! <laughs> uh... Have I seen Ovum Pattern Power Armor? Ovum Pattern. Let's have a look. <laughs> <laughs> I have seen this! <laughs> Oh, he's adorable. Isn't it the fucking best? <laughs> yeah, that's what that Imperial Fist must have looked like, I guess. Oh, he's pretty fucking rad. I love it.